guys, I'm putting together this quick video based on a bunch of my subscribers have sent me an emails saying, hey man, what are some must-haves for the garage? So if you guys have watched some of my videos, uh, you see a lot of the stuff that I use regularly. And if you haven't, if this is your first video, I just put down a bunch of stuff on the work table and I got my number one favorite must have. You guys got to check out the video I did on the Joel Horse. I did a separate full video on this device with a bunch of demos and how it applies to fabrication and automotive work. So you got to check that uh, video out. And uh, like I said, I got a bunch of stuff on the table and these are items that I would say are a must have. And we're gonna go through the list, uh, each and every one of them. I got some stuff that has to do with auto detailing and some stuff that has to do with mechanical and DIY or whatever you guys are gonna be doing. Uh, so let's start with the auto detailing stuff because that seems to be pretty popular. Uh, the, the chemical guys, V07, I swear by that stuff. I buy it by the gallon. I'm actually got a couple of gallons on the way now. This, this gallon's running low. I use that as a drying aid. I use it to remove wax residue. I use it on plastic. I use it to detail engine compartments, wheels, you name it. An outstanding product. It doesn't streak. I love it. Next up, if you guys have seen my uh, car wash soap review, hey man, there's a lot of stuff out there on the market. Some of it is harsher than others. Some of it uh, strips wax. I found that the Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam gives the most foam, the most working time, and produces the best results for my New York City hard water. I love it, it's affordable, it's one of the cheapest gallons you're gonna buy, and this gallon lasts me a really, really long time. So, all of this stuff is gonna be on sale. Black Friday's coming up in a couple of days. All this stuff can be purchased up on Amazon. If you guys are Amazon Prime, you get free shipping, no sales tax, you're good to go. Stuff's a bargain. Uh, here we go. For, for you guys who are taking care of your uh, billet wheels or anything aluminum, mothers, can't beat it. The best polish you're gonna get. Meguiar's Professional Detailing Clay. Stay away from that junk that you get at the auto parts store. Get the professional stuff that's from Japan. Uh, Colonite, you know, you guys know this is my, my go-to wax. I use the 915 in all my cars, including my high dollar collector cars. And this is the Colonite 476. They call it the Super Double Coat. This is considered a pre-winter wax. This is super durable. It's got a lot of synthetics and other polymers built into it with the Carnuba. And this supposedly is the longest lasting colonite product on the market. So they highly recommend this and I recommend this as well for anybody that lives in the snow belt. Do a coat of colonite 476 super double coat before this winter starts kicking ass. And it's going to start kicking ass real soon as some of you guys are seeing on, with the weather. Uh, this stuff is only 20 bucks. This is like 35 bucks. This stuff is all on sale right now. We got the Chemical Guys uh, G6 Hypercoat. I find that this is the best tire dressing that I like because I don't like a greasy tire. I don't like a residue. This doesn't turn the tires brown. I like it. It's affordable. It just works. We got the MTM Professional Foam Cannon. I know a lot of you guys are buying the cheaper ones and you say they work. Listen, step up to the game. Buy the real deal. This stuff will last you forever. It's fully rebuildable. It just works better. And I love the fact that on the fly, you could just adjust a fan pattern. Uh, you guys have seen my video on the Solo sprayer and the SureShot sprayers. This is a must-have, man. For $16, $17, bucks, this is going to make cleaning your rims a hell of a lot easier. So you got to pick these things up as well. Um, we got the Wheel Woolies. That's a no-brainer. You guys know what these things do. If you want to clean the wheels safely, this is, this is a hell of a lot safer and a lot better than using like a, a boar's hair brush or a synthetic bristle brush, especially that a lot of cars today are coming with gloss black wheels. So if you want to trash your wheels, use the cheaper stuff. If you want a safe way to clean them, use the good stuff. Wheel Woolies, the real ones. Uh, I got like 50 plus emails regarding the blue power washer hose that I use in all my videos. Well, some of you guys don't read the descriptions. The link is in the description. This is the hose. It's a 50 foot anti-kink hose made in America by a company called Uberflex. I love this hose. I've been using it for almost two years. Haven't destroyed it yet, so it's got to be good. If I, if I haven't broken it or caused it to, uh, to fail, I don't think you guys are going to cause it to fail because I'm pretty rough with things. Uh, the MTM SG28 Shorty Power Washer Wand. Uh, I primarily just use this with the MTM Foam Cannon uh, just to do the foam. 
Moving along here, uh, that takes care of pretty much all the auto detailing aspects of what I'm telling you guys I think are must-haves in your garage. And li literally, you could spend anywhere between 100 bucks to 300 bucks and get almost everything on this table. And depending on what you do, if you're a hands-on guy, you do a lot of DIY, you do car service, maintenance, detailing, I don't know, everybody's a little bit different. Me, I do everything. So the more tools, the merrier. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite tools that I have. Not only do I blow out the shop, I use it to dry cars. I use it to, uh, you know, to do everything around the house. This thing is outstanding. The Ego 56 volt cordless blower. And I have two batteries. Uh, both of my batteries are 2.5 milliamps, so they're a little bit more capacity. And this just makes cleaning your car a hell of a lot easier. The Makita right angle cordless drill, driver, whatever you want to call it. This is a must have if you're doing any work on the interior of a car, under the dash, underneath the, uh, the front bumpers, rear bumpers, suspension, anywhere where you gotta get fasteners out in tight areas, this is a, a, is a must have. A lot of you guys know a lot of my videos I use the heat gun, no matter whether I'm doing uh, 3M VHB tape or I'm you know, manipulating parts to fit. This is a must have, this heat gun is outstanding. I've had this one for about eight years. I have three of these particular heat guns at, at, in my shop. And I drop them, I take them with me on the road, they're affordable, they do their job, outstanding heat control. Uh, over here, this is an interesting one that I haven't really talked much about, uh, the Gear Wrench 84 Tooth Ratchets. The reason I picked up this set was about a year ago, uh, I was just browsing through Amazon and I just saw the link, and I'm like, man, these things, you can get all of these ratchets, and they got the 84 Tooth, so it's got the tighter, finer mechanism compared to what I have my snap-on wrenches. I bought all of these for like 80 bucks. Now, one of my snap-on wrenches is like 160 half-inch drive this length. So I gotta say, guys, I mean, you can see, I'm beating these tools up, I'm using them a lot, and uh, outstanding value, no matter what. If you, if you have like Sears, Craftsman, the old school ratchets, get rid of those junks. Pick up a batch of these, man, for 80 bucks, you'll never look back. You got quarter-inch drive, you got 3 8 drive, you got half-inch drive. And I use the half-inch drive when I'm, you know, breaking bolts loose, whether it's on brake calipers, um, breaking lug nuts loose, uh, harmonic balancers, whatever. This thing is awesome. Another must-have, I do a lot of tapping uh, on threads. And I always wanted one of these gear wrenches. I have a lot of gear wrench tools. I have a lot of ratchets from them. I always wanted the, the, the tap and die set from gear wrench. But then I started looking at, you know, what's included in the kit. And I don't really need all the taps and dies. I have hundreds of taps and dies. I really just wanted the ratchet mechanism. And then once I found out that this is universally adapted, you know, here and here, uh, I picked this up. And like I said, it, it just makes tapping and dying so much faster and so much easier rather than, do, you know, doing it the conventional way with the T-handle or with the crossbar. So this is also a must-have tool if you work on cars. Uh, one of the items here is the CDI Snap-on Torque Wrench. Now, I don't know, a lot of guys question me, they send me a bunch of emails, they have the Tekton torque wrench, uh, they have the Craftsman torque wrench. I have, I've had those two, and I've broken a lot of those, and I also found that they're not as accurate. This piece is made in America, it comes with all this certification of its calibration, guaranteed for life, and I'll show you here, a Snap-on company, okay? The Snap-on truck sells this exact Snap-on torque wrench, for about $500, okay? Because the Snap-on uh, the Snap-on truck comes to our area every Wednesday of the week. This on Amazon is between 160 to 179. These things go on sale. Sometimes they jump up to 300. You have to check the prices. This is going to go on sale for Black Friday. Mark my words. This is a no-brainer. If you guys are torquing your wheels on any of your cars, sports cars, specialty cars, race cars, you guys need a good torque wrench. And this is a really, really good torque wrench. I love it. I've been using it for two years. And for the money, it's an absolute bargain. And the last must-have we're going to talk about here, the Rockwell Jaw Horse. You guys know what this thing does. I use it in a lot of my videos. Uh, this is truly a must-have. You guys got to pick one of these up. 136 bucks, free shipping. I guarantee you, when you set this up in your garage, or when you're cleaning your car, or when you're working on your car, or doing anything around the house, you're gonna say, man, this thing, how the hell did I go through all these years without having one? I have three of them, I swear by them. 
this is the number one must have. I mean, out of everything on the table, I'd say pick up a jar horse, pick up the ego blower, all the other stuff, you can do whatever you want. I don't really care, but I'm just telling you, man, th this is the stuff that makes my life easier. I had a bunch of subscribers to my channel. They were asking me, hey, man, what do you, uh, what do you recommend that we pick up for the, you know, the end of the year? We got a couple hundred bucks to spend. And I just said, let me just throw everything on the table and make a quick video showing you guys what I would highly suggest you guys pick up. And we'll just do a quick pan of everything that I got here. So this ranges from auto detailing to any kind of DIY, service work, maintenance, fabrication. Uh, I think everything on the table here, if you guys don't already have these products or you, or you have similar products that aren't really performing that well, consider looking at some of the stuff. I'm going to put links to everything that's on the table in the description above. If you guys have any questions on how to use anything uh, or, or what kind of application you want to use any of this stuff for, Send me an email direct, autofanatic at yahoo.com. I will respond to everyone. Thanks for the support. Please subscribe. Share this channel with others. There's a lot more content coming uh, for the end of the year. And for 2018, we got a lot of exciting new things in the works. So uh, stay tuned. Autofanatic at yahoo.com.